and welcome to my next episode of Not In The News. As you'll have seen, there wasn't an episode for June, so this is June and July's episode put together. And moving forward, I think I will make the episodes bi-monthly, as even though there are only small changes happening um, each time, it does seem to have a bigger impact on everybody's lives and there are more distractions, um, including staycations to be had. So therefore people have also less time to watch these programmes. So moving forward, we will have one every two months. Um, just because it's a two monthly broadcast, I promise I won't make it double the length because um, we just want to hear about little bits of news um, and then we can find out more about them if we want to. So the first part of this episode um, is normally an opportunity to give you some updates on things that have been happening. Um, and because we are now in July and the last episode was in May, there are a few updates to fill you in with. So in May we had the community online auction for the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Over £250 were raised through the sale of the items in the auction. So a big thank you to everybody who donated lots, who also purchased lots. Um, and also to say that uh, this album is still available on the DSWF Community Supporters Facebook page. Um, if there was anything you saw there that you were still interested in, you just have to contact me and uh, make an offer and that money will go directly to the foundation, which is fantastic. June did actually see the first birthday of Bush Bingo. Bush Bingo have been going for a full 12 months and um, we've played uh, many games over that time. I've uh, pulled over 2,000 numbers out of the hat. We've had over 114 winners as we've been playing. Um, and in fact, that bingo in June raised £153, which brought the total for the full 12 months to over 1,500 from bingo alone going to the Amazing Foundation. So again, a huge thank you to everybody that takes part for those one hour sessions. Um, there is a break from Bush Bingo until October when the evenings get darker and perhaps people are looking for things to do again. Uh, but it's never too late to let me know that you would like an invite when I start again. So those are our updates for the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. And so to another update or piece of news um, actually from May for you, uh, then that was that there was an announcement that South Africa is going to ban the breeding of uh, lions for hunting and also for cub petting. Now this might be an area that you're not actually aware of. Um, as with all these things, I will put a link below this video for you to follow it up. Um, so if you are interested, um, because it's something you've not heard of before, or if you are interested to see how far this ban will go and exactly what South Africa are promising, or in fact, how up to date it is because we're now in July, then please uh, go to the link below and see what news there is. Also, in one of my past episodes, I gave you the opportunity to vote for your new Big Five. Now, the traditional Big Five were the five animals that it was traditional to shoot with a gun. And this new Big Five were going to be the new animals that you shot with your camera instead. And I'm glad to say that the results are in. You can find out more about the project from the link below this video. But the new Big Five for shooting with your camera are the elephant, the polar bear, the gorilla, the lion and the tiger. Now somewhere in these episodes it seems to have become traditional to give you updates on food um, and one of the companies that I have introduced you to is in fact um, Ox um, for their eco-based food production and packaging um, and it was always they, their lovely um, chocolate cupcakes um, which I'd enjoyed so much. Well actually I can also recommend their Millionaire's Bites. So um, do remember that um, the plastic tray they come in is 100% recycled and recyclable. The film is recycle ready as well. Um, obviously um, the food you can enjoy. So just a little push for Oggs. Um, if any of you find other food sources that you are particularly impressed with, their uh, eco-credentials, please do drop me a message. Um, I'd like to find out more about them as well. 
So it wouldn't be an episode of Not In The News if I didn't try and introduce you to another charity or organisation that I believe is out there to make a difference. And for the June and July episode, I am going to introduce you to an organisation called Send A Cow. As always, the link is below and I would really love you to go and check out the work that they are doing um, in Africa at the moment. So Send a Cow was set up in 1988 by a group of Christian dairy farmers. Outraged by the EU quotas that meant they had to slaughter perfectly healthy dairy cows and combined with the call from Uganda for milk, they decided to set up a project that would be innovative and a farming solution to these problems. And so I'm going to just read a few um, pieces from their website to give you an idea about what they actually do. So Send a Cow doesn't impose solutions. We help them grow from within. And in fact, the African design solutions that have been around over the years have continued to develop depending on the needs of the families and the countries to which this help is going to. Uh, there are 100% of the people they help are small holder farmers. 65% of them are in fact female, 50% of them are widows and many of the people that they help are disabled or living with other diseases. And really what you want to hear is, is why I support them and I have been supporting them now for, for many, many years. What I like is the fact that they encourage um, everybody to help themselves. Um, they make sure that they have the skills needed to produce whatever livestock or crops they decide that they want to grow for their family so they can feed their family and then any surplus is then sold in order to buy other food sources or livestock. And when you donate to this charity, you are in fact enabling a family to have a new chicken which obviously provides meat but also eggs. Um, and also gives them something to barter with for um, other things from a different family. And I really like this idea, this solution, that you are giving skills to people to help themselves. And in fact, over the years, those farmers that have become very successful, they then become the teachers of others in that area. So it's not as if things are being imposed from a country that is nowhere near Africa, but in fact it's from within the countries themselves that they find their own support, but with the direction from Sender Cow. So I really would love it um, if many of you out there who've not come across this charity take this opportunity to look at the work that they do. Um, and especially at Christmas, um, I will come back to them again I think in the November episode because a lot of other donations and gifts that you can give are actual practical gifts as I was saying it could be a chicken it could be a cow it could be a donkey it could be some uh, fruit trees you can help educate their children and um, it's just a really lovely way of feeling like you're making a difference. Now I normally conclude an episode of Not In The News with a quote um, I'm actually going to include the quote within my very last bit of news for you for this episode. Uh, the quote is, silence is golden. And I am certainly hoping that on Tuesday the 20th of July, silence is exactly that, um, golden. Because I am going to be doing a 75 hour sponsored silence. Um, which was then going to finish on Friday the 23rd um, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so why? Um, so a sponsored silence, um, which ho hopefully is making many of you smile because if you have been watching these episodes of Not In The News and following the Bush Bingo, you will know that talking is something I very much enjoy. Well, in fact, it is linked to the support that I've been giving Game Rangers International, which is the team that looks after the orphaned elephants in Zambia, along with the support of the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. And every summer they hold something called an Elephant Epic. The Elephant Epic is in fact a cycle ride from Lusaka down to the Lower Zambezi and is 75 kilometres, which is why the Elephant Epic deals with the number 75. Now last year, due to the pandemic, it became a virtual event, which did mean that it reached across the world, which was absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, this year they are going to do both a physical cycle challenge in Zambia but also a virtual challenge across the world and I decided for my July fundraiser this year that I would join in with the Elephant Epic and do something that would be epic for me and being silent for 75 hours was the final decision. I have set the target of £750 um, to be raised for the Elephant Epic team. The money will be split between Game Rangers International and Conservation Lower Zambezi. All the links to the charities that I'm talking about, the Elephant Epic um, program and also my fundraising page will be along with the long list of other sources for you to research below. Recently, Game Rangers International have actually relocated um, two of the younger orphans from the nursery who have now been weaned off milk and are able to start their rewilding journey with the older orphans in the release herd up in Kafui National Park. I have also added the links to the videos there so that you can actually see the work in action that the teams do. Um, how important it is that this continues and how su successful it is, which is totally brilliant. If you are able at all to make any donations um, towards my uh, epic sponsored silence, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, it will also be on social media for you to see how I am getting on between the 20th of July to the 23rd. It just remains for me to say thank you ever so much yet again for watching one of my Not In The News episodes. Please look out for the next episode in August, which will be sharing news about a special event in September. Unfortunately, I can't share the details with you this month, uh, but it is very exciting um, and I would like to make sure that you have plenty of opportunity to know about it um, ready for September. Thank you. Remember, silence is golden.